Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Bully Scholarship We here, and today I'm just gonna do my second uh, video game weekend pickups video. So, um, I've got some pretty good stuff. I got really lucky today. I went to two stores today and found six, uh, I guess, seven things, and um, an eighth thing I got at one of the same stores just um, a couple weeks ago. But um, I only get to go out on the weekends that I don't have work usually, so. Um, these aren't every weekend, so when they happen, they're usually fun and always uh, something different each time. So let's begin. Um, first, we got a few strategy guides here. Um, I just grabbed them because there are a few of them that I'm trying to get, and I've got a lot of strategy guides I'm trying to hunt down, but they're not my top priority right now. Right now, I've got a fair amount of mainly RPGs I'm trying to hunt down just because it's my favorite genre of games. So. Therefore, that's what I'm going to um, make my priority. But when I find these, I usually grab them if they're a fair price. So, first we got Bully Scholarship Edition. Uh, that's what my name is based off. It's one of my favorite games. And I like to have the guides for my fa uh, favorite games, even if I don't really need them. But this game had some stuff that I actually had to use the internet to find. And now I'll have it right here in a book. And I want to have to have internet access. Um, next we got Grand Theft Auto 4. Another good game by Rockstar. And finally, we got Legend of Zelda for the Phantom Hourglass. Um, I was pretty excited to find this. Zelda guidebooks are always fun and enjoyable to read. so And uh, rather helpful with, if you're stuck on a puzzle or whatever. So that's that. Um, next, we'll go to the Game Central near my work. Um, I went there. Uh, after, actually, on Black Friday, I went there because I... I just discovered that there was one there. Normally the one is uh, at this other mall, but um, they uh, I go there so often that they never have anything new. At least they haven't for a while, so um, I just wanted to see this one. And uh, I, I'd like to be able to go into the stores and look around rather than just ask them to like check if there are other stores that have a game. Because, you know, I, I don't want to bug them and ask them for like my 30 games on my list. I'm trying to find if they got any of them. I'd, so... I have more fun this way, and this this time it's somewhat different, but I don't have to bug each time. So, um, the games I got are Tales of Destiny, which, um, I actually talked to them, and they didn't have it at their store, but a different store had it, and they could ship it, so I was like, okay. And, um, he said, you know, if you buy it today, or pay for it, I'll give you 25% off on it, because it's Black Friday. I said, sweet, you know, I'll do it. I've been looking for this game, and, uh, pretty sweet game. So, uh... I got 25% off of this, and it is a relatively expensive game, so that was uh, pretty sweet, so we'll set that there, and uh, th mid this past week, uh, they called me, and they said that they got it in, so I was like, okay, um, and I remembered that I saw another game there that I was looking for, but I didn't grab that day, because I didn't want to spend that much money, because uh, my checking was somewhat low. But uh, it was still there today, and that was uh, Mega Man 7, and I was uh, today I was like, you know, I'm buying this Tales of Destiny. Uh, would you give me a deal on this Mega Man 7 if I grab this too? He's like, uh, I could take five bucks off it. And I was like, eh, well, let me look at it. And looked at it, and it had some marker on it, and the back's pretty gross. I'm going to have to clean that up. And I said, you know, I think I'll wait. And then he's like, you know, if it's, cause it's not in the best shape, I'll take ten off. I was like, you know what, I'll do that. So... I got him to take 10 bucks off, um, and this was 25% off, so I got both of these um, for the price I'm not going to say, but I'll do it. Like I said, in most games, especially rare RPGs, not Mega Man, but Tales of Destiny, I usually just buy them when I find them as long as the price isn't absolutely ridiculous. You know, if it's 150 bucks for one, unless if it's like Harvest Moon or something, I'm not going to pay that much, but in most cases, I usually buy them when I find them as long as they're in decent shape and the games look good and hopefully they're complete um next was this place called toyrific games now there's one of these in wisconsin when i went to uh, wisconsin dells this past summer i saw this place in hudson which is right on the border of wisconsin minnesota i stopped there and i actually got a copy of Mega Man x3 from them which i was very excited to find um but this one i looked up was in maplewood which is like a half hour from my house so i was like okay it would make this into a bit of a trip and go there. So we went there, and as soon as I walked in, he was like, hey, how's it going? And I recognized this dude. He was actually at the Hudson store helping out this uh, when we went there. So that was kind of cool to see him. And uh, 
anyway, he told me that they were having a holiday special, which was buy one rare or any game, get another one free, and this includes rares, and I was like, wow, you know, they never include rares whenever I go to a used store that does, like, a buy one, get one half off, or got, buy one, get one free, so, at least that much of a deal on them, so, that I was excited, so, I got four games there, and they were Lufia 2, which, very excited to find, it wasn't in perfect shape, it's, label's kind of torn, but at least you can see the picture somewhat, tested it, works great, uh, the top is just fine, um, so it's just torn off a little bit, but like I said, I shake my head, those people that actually tear, like, get their labels torn like this, I'm like, dude, how do you do that, but, you know, whatever, it's Lufia, it's a game that's a spendy one, and it's pretty tough to find, but buy this one, and then I got Legend of Mana for free along with that. Um, this one's got some R damage on the manual, but I'm not too upset because it's still complete. It's not that big of a deal. The game looks good. The game's fine. It's, you know, it's a small price you gotta pay when you buy it used, but um, I was like, okay, I'll get it anyway. So that was, I got for free. That one they were charging a fair amount for, but like I said, I probably wouldn't have bought it unless if he had that special going on. Next is one I've been trying to find for a while, and that's Dragon Warrior 7 on the PlayStation. And uh, luckily it's um, complete. The case is actually really good. Normally whenever you get these quad case or or two disc cases or one disc cases with a big manual, they, the case is always just like shredded up, you know, scratched to snot. And surprisingly this one is quite glossy looking and pretty nice. Uh, it's got a little sticker smudge here that I'll clean up with uh, some goo gun, but otherwise it is not really scratched up like most of them that you find. And like I said, it's complete. It's got the manual. It was both discs, so that's all good. So I'll grab that. And the fourth one was Suikoden 1. Uh, pretty excited to see this. Um, this one was also complete. It's got manual disc, and the funny story with this, uh, when I brought it up to the counter, and uh, when we were paying for when I uh, was paying for it, he's like, okay, uh, look, can't find the disc in this one, let me go check, and he couldn't find it anywhere, so then he uh, is like, oh, I guess one got stolen or something, so he's like, but we got a backup disc for sale, and he said, I'll just throw that in this case for you, and you'll be all set, I'm like, okay, that's fine, you know, whatever, the, the disc looked fine, so he showed me the backup disc. And, uh, you know, it looked good, so I bought it. And on the way home, um, this place is like a half hour from my house, but a half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. But um, when I was looking through the case, and I saw this, and then I looked under the manual. Um, I don't have it under there anymore. I put it over here. I found this disc, and I was like, okay, I guess it's a two-disc game. I checked the front, and it says, nope, that's one disc. And I was trying to distinguish I'm like okay both these discs look exactly the same there's no numbering and then I was like oh shoot this is the one that he said he couldn't find and it was under the manual so um I'm gonna do the right thing I'm gonna go give this back or give him that uh second disc because um that's practically theft in my book I mean it's not really my fault but it you know it's the right thing to do to return that extra one so um could have gotten the second sweeker in but I'm going to give that back to him just because that's what I want to do. Um, and those are all the things I got today. You know, buy one, get one free. Um, buy one, get one free, whatever uh, mix I did with those. So, very excited to find all of those games and check those off my list. Five good RPGs and one really cool side-scroller. So um, let me show you two more things that I bought at Game Central uh, near my work. These I was so excited to find. The first one, let me zoom out here, is a Sega Genesis box. And it is in like amazing condition. Like, um, it's hard to see here, but my goodness, like. There is a barely a single scratch on the front of this, and it looks great. The back is just the same. I mean, it's unbelievable. This is a 1991 box. Came with Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, yeah, 
So when I have a place of my own, I'm only 18. I'm a senior in high school, so I don't live on my own. Um, but I, when I do, I'm going to get a game room, and I am totally going to display some of these system boxes, and hopefully I can find some more of them um, and put them all on like a big shelf with all my games and stuff because these are so cool, and I'm very excited to find that. And he sold each of these boxes that I found for $2 a piece, which I was very excited. Um, I'm going to grab a couple more that I got. All right, so the next one I've got uh, a little bit smaller, but this is actually what sort of sparked the uh, system box question. And, uh, whoops, it was just a little, I saw this on the shelf in like a case, and just Super Nintendo controller, and I was like, oh, cool. You know, I only have, well, I have two. One of them's like a turbo, you know, fighter pad controller. I was like, oh, cool, I could get a second. You know, regular Super Nintendo controller, not that I really need one, but I just asked him how much it was, and he's like, oh, it looks like it's just a display box. I was like, oh, shoot, and I was like, would you sell the box? He's like, yeah, we'll sell anything here, and um, I was like, okay, uh, what do you want? He's like, two bucks, and I was like, sweet, so got this once again for a future game room, and right, right now I just got on the shelf over there, but um, let me grab one more box that I got. And that, let's make sure this is zoomed out once again, was a Nintendo 64 box. Not in, not in as good a shape as the Genesis, but still pretty good. Um, it's got what I want, just want to be able to display it N64. It's got the different colored controllers there, you got some game previews here. Um, looks really sweet though. And it's really cool looking on the shelf, so I was very excited to find that. And hopefully, um, he knows me, so uh, he's a pretty cool dude. So hopefully uh, in the future I'll stop by in a month or two and maybe just ask him if he's got any more in. Because he does get in boxes and ships them in and out to different stores. Usually they use them as displays, but they have extras and they said they'll sell them. So I was like, sweet. So I'm going to stop by a different time and ask him for a... Uh, See if he ever gets in a Super Nintendo one, an original PlayStation one, NES, and original Xbox. Those are the four others I'd really like to get. Um, maybe a GameCube. I don't know. I think I. Ha I don't know if I have my GameCube box still, but uh, now I'm just rambling on. So anyway, uh, just give you a final shot of the games that I found. That I'm very excited to get. Sort of pan over each of those, and uh, yeah, pretty good day. I uh, found all six of these today, and hopefully, many more in the future. So, uh, you can check those off my list now. I've only got four more games on the PlayStation, and uh, those are Lunar 2, um, Tales of Destiny 2, uh, Torneka La The Last Hope and what the heck was uh, Suikoden 2, which I actually have seen at Game Central, but that's a very expensive game, and uh, I'd have to wait a couple weeks before I'd pick that up, but I have seen it, and uh, so maybe I'll own that in two or three weeks, so uh, that's all I've got for you today, thanks for watching guys, and uh, you have a wonderful day, and uh, I'll see you in the next pickup video.